I like it. So you've got yourself a GMRS radio and you're all ready to play with the big boys on the GMRS repeaters, but you've got no clue what you're doing. Fear not, you're in the right place because Randy's going to help you out again and I'm going to ask nothing in return. Except maybe a thumbs up. A comment below thanking me would be nice, but I'm not asking. Not required. Do the right thing. Today I'm going to go over something that a lot of people have asked for. I'm going to talk about GMRS repeaters. I'm going to talk about what a GMRS repeater is and repeaters in general. When you should use a GMRS repeater. When you shouldn't use a repeater. I've got notes this time. How to find a repeater in your area and some of the rules and etiquette for using a GMRS repeater. It's all very simple stuff, but I'm going to lay it all out. First, a few ground rules for watching this video. If you're a ham radio operator and you came here to help out and save us lowly GMRS users, go ahead and leave now. We don't need your help. We don't need you to evangelize us, to sign us up for your cult. We don't need you to explain radio theory to us. We don't need you to be condescending to us and make us all look dumb in an effort to make yourself look smarter. But if you're a ham radio operator that is friendly and helpful, is maybe interested in learning about GMRS or has some information to share, then please, for the love of glob, please leave a comment below and let us know that you're out there. Because that 1% of ham operators that make comments on YouTube and Facebook and Reddit that are condescending idiot dickheads, they're ruining it for the rest of your hobby. We know that they're just a small percent. We know that they're dwelling in their basement with nothing better to do. So if you're one of the nice ham radio operators that can actually interact and socialize nicely without having to make yourself look smart, please leave a comment, just say hello, let us know you're there because we know you're out there. And frankly, those other guys are ruining it for your hobby. They're killing it from the inside. Don't let that happen. This video should be quick and easy. Might get a little complicated. I'll try to lay it all out so everybody can understand it. Like I said, I got my notes. Didn't leave them on the kitchen table this time. So what is a GMRS repeater? A repeater, GMRS or ham repeater, they're pretty much the same. Technically, they really are the same. They do the same thing. GMRS repeater is just a repeater that's set up to use GMRS frequencies. The configuration of GMRS repeaters, the way that you connect to it, is standardized in GMRS, which makes it a lot easier to connect to with your GMRS radio. In ham radio, the configuration can be however the repeater operator wants it to be, so it can be more complicated. So GMRS repeaters are standardized and basically easier to use. Why some people call GMRS ham for dummies. A repeater is basically a radio that can receive and transmit at the same time. They're usually placed at the top of a high mountain or someplace where it will have a wide reach over a wide area. They're usually high power and they usually have big antennas. What the repeater does is it receives your signal and then rebroadcasts it over a wider area and that basically extends your range. This is why you'll find a lot of repeaters on top of mountains, because if you're on one side of a mountain range and you've got somebody else on another side of a mountain range, you could never talk to each other. But if you've got a repeater on top between the two of you, you can talk to that other person through that repeater. So using a repeater really extends your range. To talk to somebody else on a repeater, you both have to be within range of that same repeater and you both have to have your radios configured to connect to and use that same repeater. Using a repeater, you can get hundreds of miles of range to somebody else that's also in range of that same repeater. If you're using a networked repeater, which is a string of repeaters, it's not as common on GMRS, that could extend your range across the whole country. I haven't used one of those yet, but it is technically possible. Repeaters are almost always privately owned, usually by ham radio clubs or GMRS radio clubs. Sometimes they're just owned by some guy that decided he wanted to build a repeater and put an antenna up on his roof. In my area, I've got a few repeaters that are owned and operated by groups, and I've got a couple that are owned and operated by just some guy that decided he wanted a repeater. Because repeaters are almost always privately owned, you usually have to get permission 
from the repeater owner before you can use the repeater. Of course, you must have a GMRS license. Your ham license is no good here, so even if you have a ham license, that does not allow you to use GMRS or GMRS repeaters. The GMRS license is like a fishing license. You go to the FCC website, fill out a form, give them your credit card number, and within 24 hours, they issue you a call sign. That license is good for 10 years, covers your entire immediate family, Right now it costs $70. The FCC has lowered the price or soon will be lowering the price to $35. It has not yet gone into effect as of February 2021, but they have announced it and they will be making that change soon. Somebody post a comment below that they've already done it. They're wrong. It hasn't happened yet. If they don't post a link to the announcement that says it's taken effect, it hasn't happened. Now when you have your GMRS license, whether or not you're using a GMRS repeater, you still have to announce your call sign at the end of every transmission or at least every 15 minutes if you're having a long conversation with somebody. First big question is why would you use a repeater? The short answer is to extend your range. When you're using simplex mode, which is just two radios talking directly to each other, on GMRS, you're limited to a few miles. If you've got a clear line of sight between you and the other person that you wanna to talk to, you can get 25, 30 miles, but if there's any mountains or if there's a lot of trees or houses and buildings between you, going to limit your range. So by using a repeater, if the other person that you want to talk to is using that same repeater, and if you're both within range of that repeater, you'd be able to talk to each other. Times when you wouldn't want to use a repeater are if you don't have a GMRS license, or if you're close enough to the person that you want to talk to that you can just talk directly radio to radio to them, then you wouldn't want to use a repeater then because the repeater is a a limited resource. You can only have one person talking to another person at a time, one conversation at a time. And you don't want to waste that resource if you could just talk directly to the person without using the repeater. The big question that a lot of people have is how do I find a repeater? The way that I found the repeaters in my area is through the local GMRS club. Found several of them that way, either because the club itself owns and maintains the repeaters or just word of mouth talking to other people that use repeaters in the area. Another great resource is mygmrs.com. And there you can view a map of your area and it'll basically show you all the repeaters that have been registered on mygmrs.com, which is most of them. Mygmrs.com will give you the information that you need to connect to the repeater, as well as who to contact if you need permission to use that repeater. So to use a repeater, once you found it, you will need the frequency or the GMRS channel that it uses and a tone, if any, a CTCSS tone that will allow you to connect and activate the repeater. Once you know that, you program that into your radio and then you can start using the repeater. Now this, this is not a tutorial on how to program your radio to use a GMRS repeater because every GMRS radio is different. If you're using something like the Baofeng UV5R, first of all, the first appointed, first of all, the self-appointed FCC YouTube police with their little plastic badges will tell you that you're gonna to go to jail if you use one of those radios on GMRS. You can see my video about that right up here. But more importantly, with UV5R, it's a real pain in the butt to program it to use a repeater. UV5R is a ham radio, so you need to know the frequency that the repeater uses, the offset, and then you have to manually enter the tones. It's really difficult. So if you've got a UV5R, you're on your own. If you want to get a real GMRS radio, I've got some links below to the GMRS radios that I use. Uh, the Ocean KG805G handheld radio, the BTEC GMRS V1 handheld radio, the BTEC GMRS 50X1, which is a 50 watt mobile radio that goes inside your vehicle and the Ocean KG1000G, which is also a 50 watt mobile radio that goes inside of your vehicle. Those are very simple to program, way better than your illegal Baofeng UV5R. If you are using a real GMRS radio, like one of the ones I linked to below or a Midland GMRS radio, which is also a part 95, approved GMRS radio, all you need is a repeater channel. In GMRS, all the channels are standardized, all the repeater channels are standardized. So you just need to know that repeater channel and the tone. One of the repeaters that I use often in my area is on repeater channel 28, I think. So I just put my radio on channel 28. If it uses a tone, I have to go into the menu setting, go to the CTCSS tone, select it from the list, and then if I'm gonna be using that repeater channel often, I hit the button to save that repeater 
tone in the memory. So it's really simple to use. That's why they call GMRS ham for dummies because it's easy. That's why I like it. And then once you've configured your radio to talk to the repeater, you got to know the etiquette. There is no etiquette. Really the only rule is that you have to announce your GMRS call sign at the end of your transmissions or every 15 minutes. Some repeater owners might have some of their own rules. I haven't run into any, but the only thing that most repeater operators don't want you to do is to do what they call kerchunking, which is where you just key up the radio and don't say anything. I'm not sure why, maybe you ham operators can leave a comment below and let us know why kerchunking is so bad. Really that's about it. There's no certain way you have to talk. All the repeaters that I use, everybody is just laid back and having normal conversations like normal people. Of course, don't be a dickhead and interfere with other people trying to have a conversation. It is, you can only have one conversation going on at a time, so you've got to wait your turn. Don't try to step on them or key over them or act like a child. That's it. Using a GMRS repeater is really easy. There's not much to it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thank you would be nice, common courtesy. Thank you for watching, we hope to see you on the trip.